ISO, in general, is an organization, and basically that stands for the International Organization for Standardization, and there are several participating countries that, uh, that will uh, recognize um, ISO standards as the, um, as the standard in, in several particular areas. There are thousands of ISO standards available, that, and some are applicable to automotive industry, some are applicable to um, our industry, which is food safety and food safety testing, so there's a variety of different ISO applications. ISO 17025 is specific to, uh, to accreditation of uh, food testing laboratories. Uh, not specific to food testing laboratories, but testing laboratories in general. And it's really a measure of quality um, to ensure that there is competency amongst the individuals performing the tests, that uh, training is properly conducted and documented, that uh, sample chain of custody and confidentiality is maintained. So there are several measures of quality built into that 17025 standard. Um, Neogen, fortunately, uh, recently had the opportunity to, to be able to receive that accreditation uh, from A2LA, which is the um, the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation. Uh, they are one of several organizations that can audit laboratories to that ISO standard. And so we're very pleased to be able to offer this measure of quality to our customers that are seeking uh, that, that, type of, uh, that type of analysis. One thing that uh, recently occurred, I would say, in the last few years is that with the passage of the Food Safety Modernization Act, um, there's some specific language there that, uh, that companies that are looking to have food testing conducted by an outside laboratory should seek those laboratories that have ISO 17025 accreditation. So being able to allow our clients to be compliant with that and still offer our, our quality services is, is something that we're very proud of. Our ability to offer food allergen testing um, under ISO accredited uh, conditions is, um, is there's a much smaller group of laboratories out there that conduct food allergen testing um, that have ISO 17025 accreditation. There, we, have a, we have a handful of colleagues in that space um, and it's a, it's, a fairly, uh, it's a fairly unique space, uh, at least within the U.S. What the ISO accreditation does, it allows the individuals who sent samples to our laboratory to really have that assurance that the, that the data that was collected and the methods used um, were appropriate and in a scientifically defendable position uh, if they were questioned by an auditor and, uh, and that they can use that data to really kind of base their decision making on how to protect their, their brand and their consumers um, based on that data, knowing that it was conducted properly. I think in general, you would find the benefits to be fairly universal. Uh, any company uh, that is using outside laboratory services wants to know that they are using a laboratory that has appropriate quality and competency to be able to perform those methods correctly. Smaller companies may rely more heavily on outside laboratory services as they are ramping up their own internal capabilities to be able to perform this testing. But even larger companies utilize outside services um, to be able to cross-check their own results, to be able to handle specialty projects, or even in a a potential um, audit investigation situation. So there, I think there's a universal benefit there. I would say anyone in the food industry looking to uh, looking to submit samples for food allergen analysis uh, that that needs uh, appropriate uh, 17025 accredited methodology being performed uh, would benefit, uh, as well as individuals looking to uh, looking to have mycotoxin analysis performed, and that can be anyone from those you know buying and selling grain to individuals who may be making individual uh, flour type ingredients or pet food type ingredients that utilize those grain ingredients. Uh, and then from the allergen side, um, just about anyone who manufactures food and manages any one of those, what we refer to sometimes as the big eight uh, food allergens by FDA uh, would, have some, uh, would have some benefit there. We've had 
a significant number of quality measures in place for a number of years, but never before have we had such a holistic approach in our quality and documentation scheme that we have today. And I think we have the uh, we have A2LA and ISO 17025 to thank for that. The fact that they have um, now received uh, results um, from an accredited laboratory and that the methods that, uh, that we use are under our, what is referred to as the scope of accreditation, um, offers the, those individuals who sent the samples assurances that you know, there, there were all the proper quality measures were taken and that you know, their, their likelihood of there being mix up or issues related to the integrity of the data uh, generally are not questioned at that stage and that the data can be accepted at face value as being uh, appropriate so that they can make important decisions based on that. In addition, it allows them the peace of mind when uh, confronted or asked by an auditor about that particular data that it was conducted appropriately.